piston engines. You guys seem to love them, but you don't know how to convert rotational X movement to rotational Y movement. But whenever you see someone else's piston engine like a YouTuber's, like this one, and then they have something like this, but then you also don't know how, how they came up with this contraption, that, that double bearing. But what if I told you I can teach you how to build this and not one of these? This is Dynamation and let's get started. What's up guys, I'm Dynamation and welcome back to another Scrap Mechanic video. Today, I will be showing you guys how to build a 90 degree axle conversion, or whatever you call it. It's a joint. You guys probably saw one of my uh, blueprint editing videos at some point. But if you haven't, I'll put it pull it up on the top right of the screen. Over here, I have a joint that converts a rotational Z movement into a rotational Y movement. You can see this with the pipes, but this is not the best you can do because uh, when you use a piston, en piston engine on one of these, it will, you know, glitch through. You can you can do this very easily when you try to put one of these on a piston engine like this. And you might want to lower the piston engine speed when you use one of those. But over here, I have something else. This one is actually connected to each other. This one is using two universal joints to connect these two. And after building these things for some quite some time last year, now I have crippling carpal tunnel and arthritis. But that's not gonna stop greatest mechanic that's ever lived from showing you guys how to build one of these. Okay, let's get started. Hey, before I start the video, I would like to ask you guys to like and subscribe and comment and comment on what you would like to see next. And I probably will do it. Tutorials. I'm trying to reach 500 subscribers by the end of the year, and I only have like about 200. So, without further ado, let's get started. So you probably, so you guys really like piston engines, but you don't really know how to convert this horizontal X rotation to a horizontal Y rotation. But I can't really blame you. It's kind of hard. But over here, I have this uh, amalgamation of stuff here. I'll sh I'll show you guys on how to build one of those. Okay, what you're gonna want to do is what you're gonna is grab some block of your choice. I'm gonna use plastic for this and build out a little bit, like a little platform. And then you're gonna place a T-joint here with pipes. Put, mm, put pipe elbows like this. Grab another pipe elbow, place a bearing. And then add that there. And then what you're gonna wanna do is place some bearings right here. And like so. There we go. Now what you're gonna wanna do is place another T-joint over here. Add another bearing. Oh, add another T-joint like this and then you're gonna want to connect this to your uh, 90 degree axle area there you go and then that's one side of the axle done now grab a piece of suspension place that there and then what you're gonna want to do is place that there and Place a T-joint there, or whatever it is called, and then place one of those there. And just like that, you have a 90 degree axle connection. I'm just going to weld this to the platform to make sure it works. Greatest mechanic that's ever lived. There you go. Now I'm going to grab an electric engine. And as you can see, it works. The best thing about this is that it's survival friendly. No glitches involved, 
no blueprint editing, no glitch welding. It's very it's very easy to do, but getting the materials might not be so easy early game. You, mm, although if you can just use one engine for this, but it's only it's only really good for piston engines to convert a uh, linear X direction to a linear Y direction. It's only good for those stuff because an engine at a high speed that doesn't that doesn't look very nice. But I can show you I can show you the difference between that and that. To tell that how you've been getting better at building a scrap mechanic is to compare your oldest creation to your newest creation. Like this is m one of my first piston engine cars. It's a piston engine hot rod. It's decent enough, but it could be a lot better. I've built this a very long time ago, and ever since then, I've been building a lot of piston engines and a more 90 degree connections like like one of these. And then I learned about one of those things when tinkering around in my blueprint editing video. And over here, this is an amalgamation of a piston engine, um, a clutch and the uh, 90 degree U-joint and, and so on. As you can see, it's really strong engine. But yeah, this is how you get one, of, get one of these. If you want to learn how to build one of these piston engines, I'll put a link above on the top right. Thanks for watching and I'll see you later. Goodbye.